All right, guys, today we're going to be doing a video that's a little bit of a kind of two-staged survival knife video. And first off, this video is not necessarily a direct promotion. I certainly am not paid by fall hell raven but i really do enjoy their pants i do run a lot of vita pro pants and so i thought that this would be a kind of video that would be one breaking down why i like these pants for this one specific purpose and then also breaking down some of the best knives to fill this role so first off we're gonna be talking about the fiel raven vita pro vented pants so these are the vented pants you guys can tell there there's a big vent right here and the reason why the these pants in particular are the um, kind of core of this conversation is because one, I think, and I hope other manufacturers will take after this feature, but even if they don't, this is a really good video to talk about these pants and this one specific feature that I personally really enjoy when I'm out doing survival and bushcrafting practice um, or survival training, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that is this little slit right here with this little weird flap or this kind of strap right here. Now, what this actually is, is something that blows my mind that more um, pant companies don't make or don't take after. And of course you have, you know, companies like Carhartt who have hammer, you know, loops on their belts so you can, or not belts, but on the pants so you can hang, you know, hammers on them. And they have different features like that. But this cool little feature right here is a multi-use pocket, but it was originally designed with the express intent to fit a Mora companion in this pocket. Let me show you guys how this works. So first off, there is this little strap right here and that's a retention strap but what this does this little uh, pocket here is that you basically slide your knife into this pocket like so and then you have this strap right here that comes across and locks the knife in so you can see here this thing can slip out if you really want it to but for the most part what this is actually designed to do is you're not necessarily supposed to have this guy on here but what you would do is you'd have this as your retention strap so when you want to use your knife you pop this guy right here you pull your knife out and the sheath apparently pulls the knife out and you're in business so this little pocket right here kind of holds your sheath and your knife you can go cut do whatever you need with your knife slap it back in close this back up right here and your knife is retained right it's not going to necessarily make a liar out of me it will fall out but it's not necessarily supposed to and in most realistic practice when your leg is actually in your pants it's there's a lot more tension here so it's not going to like slip out as easily so this is how it was originally designed it was supposed to hold a mora companion that's literally what their website says and shows in the pictures is a mora companion now, of course this is a clipper but this is a companion sheath so it works however when i first got these i was really intrigued by this feature so i started experimenting and seeing what other knives could also fit this role because i do like the companion but i've always felt like the companion is or maybe not always but i sometimes feel like the companion is just leaves me a little bit underwhelmed or a little undergunned so the next two that i started experimenting with were the mora Kanzbul and the condor pterosaur and these two are probably my most regular go-to's for this choice and what i did was if you guys look and if you do buy these pants in this particular Particular setup I highly recommend if you have a plastic sheath like this wrap it with some paracord or um, wrap it with some or not necessarily wrap but put some rubber inner tube bicycle inner tube on it and the reason why is as you guys saw with this plastic sheath of course plastic sheaths are very slippery so you notice that there's not a lot of retention here it can fall out very easily but when you wrap it with paracord or rubber, it not only fills out this pocket so that there's more natural tension, but it also gives it some more resistance, right? So this can still kind of fall out. It's not like absolutely perfect, but there's a lot more tension to it and it's a lot less likely to fall out. In addition, I like the Conspool here and I like the ter Pterosaur as we'll get into because of this. So you can see how the sheath physically sits higher in this pocket. So now what it is or what it shows or how it is I guess is that when this snap is closed this little safety strap here you no longer run the risk of cutting the safety strap if you draw your knife so because the companion clipper sheets sit deeper in this pocket and the strap actually goes over the knife you do have to physically pop this strap because if you don't you'll likely cut the strap when you go to draw your knife However, with the Conspool and the Pterosaur their sheets sit up higher so now you can draw your knife out like such, do whatever you need. The 
you know, sheath is here, it's definitely retained, it's not gonna fall out. And so then when you're done, you can just pop it out. And so this goes off of the natural friction fit, you know, the friction retention, but it does work really effectively. So that's the cons bool. Um, of course, the pterosaur works the same way. You guys can see here, I have done the same exact thing with the uh, pterosaur. The pterosaur sits in here actually slightly better than the cons bool because it's just a little bit wider. The sheath is a little bit thicker, but it's the same basic principle. Let's strap this guy in here. So you guys can see there, once again, the blade is not making any contact with the um, strap. You can pull it out. And this is actually genuinely one of my favorite knives. I do run quite frequently like this. And, uh, yeah, so like I said, once again, totally effective. Same way, you can still lose it and it can still pull out, so it's not you know, 100% bomb proof. But like I said, do be mindful that when you actually have your leg in the pants like you're supposed to, like you normally would be if you're wearing the pants, there is a lot more tension here, so the knife is very unlikely, or sheath I should say, is very unlikely that it will fall out. Of course, these pants are empty, so there's not much tension being put on the back of this fabric. So. Uh, anyways, I have continued to keep experimenting and that leads me to the next two options that are probably my absolute favorite for this um, setup. And if you have these knives, this is genuinely some of the coolest stuff. And this is where I really learned to actually love this pocket and really question why more companies don't make this. So this one, of course, is a Topps Fieldcraft. And look at how great this thing fits in here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of kind of happy about this because the Topps Fieldcraft is a big knife. Like this is not a small knife at all. This is a full-size bushcrafting knife and it fits perfectly in this pocket. And need I mind you, one of the coolest things about this pocket is that if you are appropriately sized to these pants, this knife sits right at your side, like right in a natural line where you can easily draw this knife out and once again because this is an even wider even bigger sheath I didn't actually have to wrap it um, you guys can see here that it will actually pop this strap before the sheath comes out so this one doesn't have a paracord wrap because it doesn't actually need it like you guys can see here like this isn't gonna fall out because it's so wide however the nice thing is so the sheath is just wide enough that like right here, it would be too wide, but because that width sits in that pocket, it works out beautifully. So you can actually have a full size tops field craft in this guy and rock that like such. So this is pretty cool in my opinion, but the last one in my opinion takes the cake and it is the Cold Steel SRK. And if you ditch this um, little strap right here, which I'll probably do here in the future, I was just playing around and experimenting. Look at this, it actually fits pretty darn well. It's a pretty snug fit. You kind of have to like worm it in there a little bit, but it does fit. So it does work pretty well. Now, I will say I have this in a little bit of a def different testing configuration, my SRK. So if you do have this like back placard on here, it will not go across and snap. But if you get rid of this, you know, um, back placard here, it reduces the material just enough that it will actually snap into this pocket. But either way, you can actually get this to fit in here. Once again, you kind of have to like worm the actual sheath in there because the sheath is definitely the upper limit of what this pocket can carry. But you can have a full on cold steel SRK in this pocket and it's just too cool. I think like having a full on survival knife that can sit and stash in this pocket is just epic. And I don't think that Fall Fell Raven ever intended for this to be the way, but it is actually this way. And there are the five knives that I listed here can fit in this pocket. And there's actually quite a few other knives that will fit in this pocket. Well, of course, you can always say, oh, I could put a Glock knife in this pocket. And technically, you could put a Glock knife in this pocket, but you can see there's a lot of sag in the sheath. This is not, this would not be comfortable to walk around with. But I mean, there are a plethora of different options of knives that will fit in this pocket well. And of course, there are other knives you could graft into this pocket with more dedicated sheathing options. But like I said, and I've said in previous videos, I really do like this knife pocket because it sits at a very natural position. It's basically just where you would have your arms resting. So it gives you that same kind of drop length that a dangler sheath would have. But the coolest thing about having a sheath pocket integrated into your pants is that with something like a dangler, you have 
have a lot of mobility, but the knife dangles, right? Like it kind of just flops around, does whatever it does. I don't have a dangler knife or knife sheath here to show, but I have had dangler knife sheaths in the past. And they're some of my least favorite sheaths to work with because there's so much slop in them. But what I like about this knife pocket is that it gives you that same flexibility that your knife moves with your leg. However, because the sheath is secured on the inside of a pocket in your knife or in your pants, it's secure, it's not flopping around. The sheath itself doesn't have any movement to it. It's still completely natural though, just like a dangler would be. So this is a really cool feature. If you guys don't already um, have Fiel Raven Vita Pro vented pants, this may seem kind of like a uh, flex because these are rather expensive pants. However, if you do a lot of bushcrafting and wilderness survival practice, I do think Fiel Raven Vita Pros are worth the money because once again, you have awesome features like these um, dedicated pockets for your knives and um, you have a lot of good cargo space in these pants for different tools but I will say um, they, they're also really good pants like they they're good they're good flex <laughs> they have good flexibility and they do offer a lot of function to them so they're not cheap full disclosure you know um, vented Vita Pros are not cheap pants they're usually over a hundred dollars but if you do a lot of this they are really cool. They do, if you do a lot of wilderness stuff, hiking, hunting, and uh, you know, bushcrafting survival practice, um, these are really worthwhile having. And if you do happen to have them, this is a short list of knives that will absolutely fit in this pocket. And I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, guys, that's my short rant. Hopefully, that, hopefully this was an educational video. And as always, guys, God bless and I'm out.